Mumtree's Boathouse Hotel on Cadder Beach restarted its popular art gallery exhibitions with a collection by Laura Baum, an accomplished American artist who has been living in Asia for many years and now resides in Phuket. Her collection, which is open through to the 30th of May, is appropriately called Islands, depicting many familiar or similar locations near to Phuket, Krabi and Pangar Bay. Lisa Sol, PR manager of Montree's Boathouse, was proud to host the opening cocktail reception for Laura Baum, who has exhibited her ethereal landscape paintings throughout Asia, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Taipei, Kathmandu, and now for the first time in Thailand. Laura was born in 1963 in New York City. She was a student of Chinese artist Diane Can, a disciple of the revered master Chang Dai Qian. The materials Laura uses lend depth and light to her paintings. The gold or silver leaf boards with a thin layer of rice paper from Japan and the stone and mineral colors bring a surprising power to the images. Paintings of the islands made her concentrate on compositions, color and light. Together with her talented children, she recently began to sail and that experience has added to her work. The changing colors of the water and being surrounded by the elements gave her a deep inspiration and feeling for the space and landscape around Phuket as she explained more about her various different and attractive art forms to us. Well, they're, they're inspirations from this area, but they're not actual places. They're all mostly from my mind and the uh, inspiration from my experiences in this area in Phuket. Uh, they look like they've all come from Pangna Bay, all right, the limestone. Well, they place. definitely come from Pangna Bay, <laughs> but uh, not exactly, you know. It's I'm, how you dream of them. Right, it's how I dream of them. But I did start sailing this year, and, you know, being on the water has definitely brought more color and inspiration to them. about these necklaces as well? They look, um, well, are they I'm miniatures one, of the painting? I'm wearing one now. Uh, I have a young child, and I didn't have a studio for quite a few years, so I, and I have to paint. Um, the kind of person that can't go a day without painting and so I started painting small paintings uh, and it was really satisfying and um, you know nothing would stop me. Does that inspire your, your kids to perhaps take up painting or to, well, to maybe, produce? Well maybe, maybe, who knows, they definitely saw me you know working, they've seen me working for many years. So make some fans? Yeah, yeah I, I try all kinds of things. So these are some fans I, I found in Hong Kong and there, there's a, um, just something different. Oh, practical. Yeah. Something different. <laughs> and, and the rocks as well. These look like yeah. real rocks, but they're not, are they? What are they made of? They're made out of clay, and um, they're islands, you know. And actually, I imagine them in, these are maquettes. So if you can imagine them about, you know, three or four feet long, and about two feet high, you know, four feet high. And uh, originally I had made them to be cast in glass, actually. So hopefully one day that dream will come true. But they help, they echo the work, you know. They, I really enjoyed making them. So yeah. what's your favorite sort of medium then? Is it the paintings, the necklaces, the rocks, or the... Uh, the painting, fans? the painting is my medium, yeah. I mean, this is just um, something I've enjoyed uh, as an add-on, kind of. Yeah, right. the painting is my heart. <laughs> For more information about Laura, visit www.clearlightart.com or for more information about the exhibition, visit www.boathouse.net.